All right, so today we're going to uh, we're going to talk a little bit about putting a pump in one of these bobs. And uh, right here we got one of our Gen 3s, upside down, carbon. Nothing in it, but uh, ready to put the pump in. So you always want to start with doing the pump in a situation where you have nothing in the boat because that way you can flip it upside down it's easier to work on is how I like to do it and we're gonna we're gonna put a, a 148 mag into this guy along with the thrust trim system bolted up to it already pretty much ready to go all right so let's take the pump and go ahead and slide them on in And uh, just sitting there without any hardware or nothing, you can kind of see how your holes are offset. You can just see it like a half circle sticking through the pump body right there on each side. And what's going on there is the pump seal is actually pushing you back, which is good. You want that. All right, so with the dowel pins dropped into the rear on where the, tail, where the reduction nozzle bolts up to the, to the body, you could just do a light pressure, and, and I mean light pressure, to, to get it to where you could see your half circle turn into a full circle on the threads. So that's kind of a, a little cheater method that I like to do. And at that point, I'll be able to, uh, to start dropping my hardware in one at a time. You want to leave it a little bit loose at this point still. You don't want to tighten it all the way up. Take it over to the other side. Same thing, push it forward. And at this point what I like to do is do a light pressure to get the drive shaft so it's going straight through the tube. Because you know the pump can walk side to side, and then that's going to tell me it's going to be going straight through the bulkhead on the inside of the hole. So at this point, I'm going to snug this guy up a little bit more. Now you can take your last two pieces of hardware and just get them started in the back. And leave it, leave a good gap because we're probably gonna have to shim this. We'll have to look at the drive shaft on the inside. So basically, now that we got this thing flipped back over, I'm looking at my shaft coming through here. The perspective of the shaft with the mid shaft hole, and what I'm looking at is the drive shaft sitting too low, and it looks like it's over towards me a little bit in this direction. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I can clean that up and make my adjustments over at the back of the pump. All right, so at this point, what I did is, since the drive shaft is, is too much to the left, I'm gonna give, I loosen the front pump bolt right here, and then I'm gonna give slight pressure on this one side to push, to, put, to, to push the pump in a little bit closer on that one side to straighten it out. As I'm holding pressure, I'm gonna tighten that front one. to hold my set point. All right, now let's go take a look. So now my drive shaft's coming straight through. Now what I wanna work on is I wanna get the drive shaft coming up. I wanna get the perspective so it's actually coming straight through the hole on center. So now I'm going to put my hardware back in, just ever so slight in there to leave room because at this point I'm going to shim it. All right, so now we got our shims all set. I found the right uh, combination of shims to put underneath the reduction nozzle ears to bring the shaft in the right elevation to where I'm happy right, So now that we've got everything all shimmed up down below, we want to double check our alignment of our shaft coming through 
the bulkhead tube right here and you want it to get it as center as possible. And at this point we can verify what we just did with the, the mid shaft should just go on there straight on. Just like butter like that right there without fighting it or anything. Cause if you're, if you're fighting it, you're putting it in a, in a bind. All right, so now we're done pretty much with uh, getting everything set. So I'm gonna take one out at a time. And I'm gonna put Loctite on everything. All right, so at this point, now I got Loctite on it. Let me go ahead. Get my hardware set on that. You can do the same for each one. I got all my hardware Loctited. Um, keep in mind, your application might be different. You might be using anti-seize instead of uh, Loctite. Just depends if you're doing salt water and whatnot. Um, so onward. The, the next thing you want to verify before you go any further is to make sure that you got a good seal on your, on your pump. And you can kind of just look on the outside right here and make sure that the, you can see the compression going on. And it kind of goes on all the way around it. And the last final check is to take a bright light and shine it on the inside of the duct. And you want to make sure you got no daylight showing through anywhere around here. If you have any daylight going on, you'll get some cavitation and uh, no, no bueno. Got to change the pump seal.